This government, as promised, has maintained the closest surveillance of the Soviet military buildup on the island of Cuba. What is it? On Sunday morning, one of our U-2s took these pictures. The Soviets are putting medium-range ballistic missiles into Cuba. Morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Mr. President. Our cities in the southeast, as far north as Washington, D.C., are in range of these weapons, and in the event of a launch, we'll have only five minutes warning. In those five minutes, they could kill 80 million Americans. It was clear we cannot permit Soviet nuclear missiles in Cuba. We have to get those missiles out. The Soviet understands only one language. Action respects only one word. Force. I got a bad feeling about what's going on in there. Sir, I think we have to issue pre-invasion orders for our forces. There's no choice. It's going to cost lives anyway we go. We're talking about possible nuclear war. We've got a bunch of smart guys. We lock them in a room. They come up with some solutions. The full spectrum of airstrikes is minimum response the Joint Chiefs oh, will accept. No, no, no. There is more than one option here. Hey, you're in a pretty bad fix, Mr. President. Well, maybe you haven't noticed you're in it with me. Those damn Kennedys are going to destroy this country if we don't do something about this. It shall be the policy of this nation to regard any nuclear missile launched from Cuba against any nation in the Western Hemisphere as an attack by the Soviet Union on the United States, requiring a full retaliatory response upon the Soviet Union. On the evening of October the 22nd, 1962, American President John F. Kennedy announced the Soviet Union was building missile bases on Cuba, just 90 miles from mainland America. We are calling tonight for the prompt dismantling and withdrawal of all offensive weapons in Cuba under the supervision of UN observers. In a televised address to the American people, we warned these sites must be dismantled, the missiles removed, or America would take steps to defend herself. We will not prematurely or unnecessarily risk the course of worldwide nuclear war in which even the fruits of victory would be ashes in our mouth. But neither will we shrink from that risk at any time it must be faced. In 40 years of Cold War, the world never came closer to nuclear holocaust. The world's watching everything we're doing. I'm prepared to wait for my answer until hell freezes over. I am the Commander-in-Chief of the United States, and I say, when we go to war...